Hello everyone, my name is Miss Adriana and today in the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom we are going to read a book together. I picked a book called Temple Did It and I Can Too. This book was inspired by Dr. Temple Grandin who came up with the seven simple life rules that helped her um, to overcome all those challenges that she had to face while growing up with autism. There is a little note on the back of the book from the Dr. Temple Grandin to all the readers. So let me read it for you. To all the children who will read this book, work hard and achieve your dreams. May this book remind you to always do your very best and to develop your abilities. Dr. Temple Grandin. But before we start reading the book, let's check your schedule. We'll review schedule, review materials, talk about keywords from the book, we'll read the book, and then we will wrap up. If you have your printed schedule with you, let's check it off. Reviewing the schedule is all done. I'll check my schedule. And now it's time to review materials. So for this lesson, you need the book. If you don't have it, don't worry, I'll read it for you. You can just follow with me. You also might need some markers or crayons, scissors, and a glue to finish activities that I have ready for you after the lesson. Reviewing material is all done. Let's check it off on your schedule. And now it's time to talk about keywords from the book. All right, let's review our keywords from the story so that we can understand the story better. First word from the story is passion. Passion is a strong feeling about something that we really like. Pursuits. Pursuits is an action of following something that we like. So, like for example, following your interests. The next word is develop. Develop means grow. So if you are learning a new word, you are developing or growing your vocabulary. Another word from the story is famous. If you are famous, that means that many people know about you. And the last word is cattle. That's just another word for cows. Reviewing keywords is all done. Let's check our schedule. Reviewing keywords, it's finished. Now it's time to read the book. Temple did it and I can too. Seven Simple Life Rules with Introduction by Dr. Temple Grandin. I will read only part of it for you. There are seven of my life rules listed in this book, but one I consider to be the most important, work hard. All right, let's read those rules. Temple Grandin is a very successful scientist she designs cattle systems and is famous for her advances in animal science. People came from miles around to hear her talk. They even made a movie about her. She is successful and famous, which means many people know about her. But she wasn't always this way. When she was a little girl, she couldn't talk. And when she was in school, kids made fun of her. That is very sad. But she grew up to help change the world. How did this happen? I went to hear her talk one day and got to speak with her. I asked how she came so far. These are the seven rules for success she taught me. 
Rule number one, follow your passion and learn it well. My, my passion was cattle, so I learned everything about them. Here you can see Dr. Temple Grandin learning everything about cows. Rule number two, don't spend too much time playing video games or following pointless pursuits. Live life. Spend your time studying and join clubs that interest you. You'll be glad you did. What kind of club did Dr. Temple join? I think she joined Girl Scouts. I think so too. Rule number three. Be yourself, but you have to fit in a little. I never cared much for looking fancy, but I learned that people in business didn't want to be around someone who was messy. Do you think she's messy or clean? Messy. How is she messy? She has dirty pants. Her hair is not combed. Look, she even has a hole in her sock. Now, I make sure to keep myself neat and clean and to always have good manners, but I still keep my own style. Dr. Temple loves style of cowboys. She likes to wear cowboy clothes. Rule number four, develop your talent. Figure out what you can do with your favorite skills and then practice and develop those skills. Like, I like animals, so learn, I learn how to help them. Hmm, I like math and books. So maybe one day I can become a computer programmer and design programs for insects. What is your interest? What do you like to do? I like to learn about space. Ooh, so maybe in the future you can be an astronaut. Rule number five. Perfect is not possible. Be good, not perfect. Learn from your mistakes and do your best. Learn number, rule number six. Work hard. Did you know that um, Temple didn't start out designing for animals? She started out by cleaning horse stalls. She spent three years doing this before she moved up to more interesting jobs and it earned the respect of everyone around her. So she did work hard for a very long time before she became famous. Rule number seven, never stop learning. There is always something new to discover in your area of interest. Find your next goal. Temple followed her rules and now she's famous and influential in not one, but two fields, animal behavior and autism. Temple Grandin did this and she had more to overcome than I do. So if I try hard and spend time developing my talents into something good, someday I can too. So here are the seven rules. Let's review it. Follow passion, live life, be yourself, develop your talents, never stop learning, perfect is not possible, and work hard. And that's the end. Doing our lesson is all done. Let's check it off on your schedule. And now it's time to wrap up. Today, we learned about seven simple life rules that help Dr. Temple Grandin to reach her goals. I hope that these seven rules will help you to reach your goals as well. I wonder which rule would be the toughest one for you to follow. 
the rule number one, follow your passion, is very difficult for me. I just get so busy with everyday life that I forget that there are things that I like to do and I am passionate about. And that will be it for today. Wrap up is all done. Let me check it off on your schedule. And all I would like to say at the end is thank you very much for joining me at the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom. If there is anything that you have finished, if you have created a word wall or anything else, any worksheets at the end, you can share it with me and post it on Easter Sales Chicago Facebook, hashtag a virtual classroom and I will be happy to share it with you like I am sharing this from one of our viewers. Um, remember, we are posting new lessons every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. I am Miss Adriana. Happy learning!